Today's video is going to be my 2023 fall clean and decorate in my kitchen. So as content creators, we like to decorate early to give you guys all the inspiration and decorating ideas for whenever you're ready to finally decorate for fall. So I wanted to go ahead and give y'all some early fall decorating ideas. So we're going to get started on my kitchen and I'm not even going to lie to y'all because y'all know I keep it so real here on my channel. I've been very, very overwhelmed this morning because two of my kids had pre-k and kindergarten camp today which is just like a short like half day not even a half day like a two hour day of school before school starts so school actually starts on friday and today is wednesday so they just went for two hours i felt like once i got back home and got the baby back out of the car that it was already time to put them back in the car and head back to go get them and my house is just giving me anxiety it is a disaster i've already started trying to like clean before this video because it is so bad and I want the main focus of this video to be the fall decor so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and open up my totes and figure out how I'm gonna decorate my kitchen and before I decorate I'm gonna clean the kitchen and I'm also gonna share a really yummy crock pot recipe idea it is so easy you just throw everything in the crock pot for a few hours and it'll be ready by dinner and I love to do crock pot meals whenever I have like a super busy day when I have a lot to do so that way when it comes dinner time I don't have Oh my gosh, I still have to cook dinner too on top of the busy day. I can just go to my crock pot and it's ready. So anyways, I'm going to show y'all that crock pot meal. We are going to do a clean and decorate and hopefully I can give y'all tons of decorating ideas today. And make sure you stay tuned because my next videos are going to be my fall living room, my cozy fall bedroom. I'm also going to be doing a cozy fall porch and I'm also going to be sharing treats and recipes. So if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new and let's jump into this video. So for this crock pot recipe, you're going to need some chicken breast, some heavy whipping cream, some butter, some chicken broth, and then this is my favorite salt, pepper, and garlic seasoning. If you use salt, pepper, and garlic powder all the time, then this is the seasoning for you. This is like my favorite seasoning, my go-to seasoning. You don't have to get your salt, your pepper, and your garlic powder out. It's all in one, but this is the Kinder's seasoning, the blend, salt, pepper, and garlic. I've got some cream cheese. The Parmesan is going to go on at the end when it's finished cooking. This is going to be like to top it with at the end, and also some penne pasta. So I'm just going to add the chicken breast, the cream cheese, the butter, the garlic, salt, pepper, chicken broth, and the heavy whipping cream in the slow cooker. We're gonna cook it on high for two to three hours or low for four to five hours, just until the chicken breast is fully cooked. And then you remove the chicken and shred it, return it to the crock pot along with the pasta, the Parmesan cheese, and cook on high for about 35 to 40 more minutes. And then you're gonna top it with cheese and it makes such a delicious dinner. Y'all, I specifically bought slow cooker liners and I did not use them. I got carried away and I started putting all my ingredients in, so oh well. I guess we will just let the crock pot soak tonight. <laughs> Y'all, this is probably gonna cook better and faster if I actually turn it on. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cook it over here.
So this is how my husband and I sit here at this little table. We don't sit side by side. He pulls one out and sits over here and then I pull one out and sit over there and we kind of sit like this so we have plenty of room on this little table. But I wanted to do a little tablescape but it's really hard to do that with kids. So I decided to just do one here and I'm gonna do a kid friendly one over on my dining room table. But I love the details on this plate. It's got fall leaves and the distressed look. But I just love this whole little setup. You can get dishes from anywhere and create something like this. Just do like a placemat, a large plate, a hand towel, a cute plate, or just like a smaller plate and just put a little pumpkin on top and it makes the perfect little centerpiece. And then I have these little glasses here. These are glass, but they have pumpkins all over them and they're such a beautiful orange fall color. But I just have these in the center. I'm not going to risk putting these on the edge and one of my kids grab them. So I just kind of have these sitting in the center like that. But I think it turned out really cute.
You got some blueberries? Num num, blueberries. <laughs> So I love the way that our bar table turned out and then I just added this little pumpkin rug over here. I actually had this one in front of my sink last year and it's got wrinkles in it because it's been folded up. But I love how it looks in front of my stove. And then I just have these neutral hand towels hanging from the oven, my pumpkin pecan waffle candle. And then over on my tear tray, I wanted to just add lots of pumpkins. So I just filled it up with pumpkins and then I added a flower pick. It has a pine cone and a sunflower and some fall leaves. But I just filled it all the way up with a bunch of pumpkins. And then this A pumpkin here is for our last name, Asbury. So it's just a tear tray full of pumpkins. And then I added a little pumpkin mug on a little riser. I love hanging wreaths over the stove. I had that same one there last year. And before we moved, I had it in our other house too. But that wreath is from Hobby Lobby several years ago. But I love the way that this space turned out. It's so simple and ready for fall. Over here is my wall mirror and I just have this basket that I love to add florals to. So I just kept my eucalyptus leaves in there and added some pumpkin picks. So every year there's always decorations that I declutter. So whenever I go through my boxes, if I don't absolutely love it, then I'll just pass it down to family or give it to somebody else. So this is actually a mix of my fall and Halloween, so I'm just kind of going through it. And I'm going to make a little pile of things that I pull out and I don't really love it anymore. I don't like to have decor in my house unless I absolutely love it. And I won't buy anything in the store unless I know where I'm going to put it in my house because I have went shopping before and just put some cute things in the buggy and got home and I'm like, I really don't have anywhere to put this. And then you end up not being able to use your cute decor. So anytime I'm shopping, before I put it in my cart, I look at it, I kind of envision where I could use it, where I think it would look good before I buy it. I'm also gonna be decorating my kitchen table. We're gonna do a really fun kid-friendly tablescape that is non-breakables and things that your kids will love and enjoy this fall season. specifically got these mugs for this fall so they can drink hot chocolate. They love to drink hot chocolate. I can put some hot chocolate in here and add some marshmallows and I love the color of them. And I just put one where my baby sits just because it would look unfinished if I didn't. So I love this kid friendly tablescape. So these are from Goodwill. I've had them for a while. These are plastic orange plates from Hobby Lobby. And then you can go into the craft section. They have all kind of fall crafts out. I got this big bag of pumpkins that can color or paint or draw on with markers. So they'll have lots of fun with that this fall. 
But this is a really, really easy kid-friendly tablescape that you can do for your little ones. I'll probably just let my one-year-old play with this with his, but eventually he'll be able to use that. I don't plan on getting rid of any of this, but I set it up the same all around the table. And then here in the center, I just have a big leaf. It's just a big wooden leaf, nothing breakable, and then two candlesticks with this wreath over it. I wanted to try to get some of these candlesticks because I see people use them and I love them. I'm not gonna actually light them while the kids are in here, but I love them. These have the little fall leaves on them. These can go all through fall, all through Thanksgiving, all through Halloween, but I love the way that this tablescape turned out and the kids that are going to love it too. And then over here for my coffee bar, I love the way that this turned out unfortunately i broke my teapot here this coffee bar sign fell and it hit it and it actually cracked it but it's kind of covered up so you can't even tell so thankfully from looking at it at this angle you really can't even tell but i just added a little acorn over here to my cutting board with my lamp and then i added my fall pumpkin pick it's just leaves and a pumpkin on a pick a little tea towel, a mug, and some orange garland. Down here, I just added my Good Morning Pumpkin coffee mug. And then over here, I just added this riser. I found this riser at TJ Maxx. And then I just put a hand towel on it, a coffee spoon, two plates. And I love these plates. that They have like a ruffle look to them, like a ruffle design on the edge. And I just think they're so cute. But I got two of those plates, and I just put a pumpkin on top. from a variety of places sometimes I go to Goodwill sometimes I go to Hobby Lobby sometimes I go to Target TJ Maxx TJ Maxx is my favorite place to go for decor because it's always affordable and there's always so many good decorations there but if you guys are interested in anything that I did just know that you don't have to go to the specific store pay the specific penny that I paid you can go to your Dollar Tree and make these tablescapes. You can go to the Dollar Tree and make a coffee bar. It's really just the technique and the style of like stacking the plates and all that, not specifically what I bought. So I know that you guys can make your homes beautiful for fall and you don't have to spend a ton of money. And a lot of the decor I use, I've already had it. I love to reuse decor throughout the years, but every year I do like to pick up a few new pieces. towels that I'm not using my summer and spring hand towels and I just did that to add some height and then just filled it with some pumpkins and then my other basket over here I just stuck a big sweater pumpkin in it and it looks really cute and cozy for fall.
watching today's video. I hope that y'all found some decorating ideas for me and some fall inspiration. Stay tuned because my next video will be in the living room. We'll be decorating my living room for fall and possibly my front porch. But my whole house smells so good. It smells like the pumpkin pecan waffles candle and everything turned out better than I could have imagined. I had no plans specifically for how everything was going to turn out except for the tablescapes. But the pics in my mirror basket I did not plan that I just thought the pics would look good there but everything just looks so good in here and I'm so excited to get my house ready for fall thank y'all so much for watching today's video and I'll see y'all in my next one